Hey guys, we've uh. <laughs> <clears throat> hey folks, welcome back to Hickory Hollow, and we have decided to have our lamb logged. So today we're going to go over reasons why we had our land logged and why it works for us. Well, right now we're having the all the big logs taken off, all the trees cut. Uh, um, the pros and cons of having your land logged. Um, pros, definitely money because you know they 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 pay you for your timber. It's it's not like they just come in and take everything and, and don't give anything back. So, I mean, you make money from it, but the cons, I would have to say, are the, the land destruction. But in our case, it's not about, um, it's not about cosmetics. Uh, we're, we're trying to make a, a usable pasture where we're at and the land hasn't been logged in decades. I, I would say some of these oak trees are a hundred years old or older. Um, they're dying out because there's no there, there's no amount of sunshine coming in. Um, the trees are starved out of sunshine, water, um, the, the loggers, whenever he came in to give me the quote, showed me places in the trees that were decaying and there, there were living trees, but when he pulled the bark back, you could see close to the ground that it was, it was dying. And I couldn't justify not logging it for saving a couple of trees that, that were already dying. So we might as well go ahead and make the best of the trees that are already there and and bring in some income to to promote fencing um our water care um my vision is to have uh paddocks set up we're, we're going to do rotational grazing kind of a joel salatin type setup to where we can move our animals to where they always have uh, a fresh food source, a fresh water source. Um, you know, we want to keep in mind uh, land erosion due to animals uh, being there. Um, you know, we still have a lot to figure out about our, our uh, geography here. Um, you know, it's not super flat. We're in East Tennessee, so there's a lot of rolling hills and uh, a lot of rocks we have to work around. Um, we're in a very rocky area over here in Dandridge. Um, we have uh, a huge limestone deposit where we're at, so we're having to work around that. Um, we want to do, uh, like I said, rotational grazing so we can constantly move our animals and have a minimal uh, feed bill. Let's talk a little bit about the payment process. Well, um, when he came out and gave me the quote, we walked all over the property and he looked at all of my timber and he gave me two options. Um, a, we could either take a lump sum or B, we could sell on shares, which I didn't know anything about shares. And he explained it to me that if he could take it to the mill and the mill pay him and then him pay me, we would both be better off. So we did 50-50 shares. So he took the lumber to the mill and they paid right down the middle. They cut me a check in my name and him a check as well. And it's worked out so far. I mean, they're, they're not finished, but 
I mean, it's already exceeded the amount that he offered me up front. What were your plans to make the land usable before you decided to have it logged? Probably cut the trees myself, cut a few out, try to bring in some sunshine. Um, that quickly became a, uh, a back burner thing of it. We've got so much going on here that I don't have time to go cut all those big trees and haul them out and, and, and cut them up and sell them myself. So I was scrolling through Facebook and in the marketplace um, I found Wade's ad and I just, I read it by Kara and I said, you know, it's probably a good idea to at least have these guys come out, have a look and, and see what they could come up with. And uh, of course, the, you know, the deal he offered was much better than what I expected. So we, we took it. But, uh, and also I, I told him when we were walking through and we've done a walkthrough since they've started and he's held true to his word that uh, he wouldn't, you know, just clear cut everything. A lot of the smaller trees, uh, and when I say smaller, I mean like coffee can size or bigger, um, are still standing there because obviously they they don't hold as much value as, as the bigger trees. And we, we didn't want a, a complete clear cut. We need some cover left for our animals to to have shade and a little bit of shelter in the rain. So we've captured some footage of what your land will look like after they have came in and logged your place.
hope you guys can get a, a good idea of what your land's going to look like. They're about halfway finished with the logging process. Hopefully this will give you a little bit of insight if this is an option for you. Um, we, we bought into this place knowing there was a lot of, of wooded area, a lot of old timber, and we didn't really think about selling it. We have chose to reinvest in the property to kind of help the land recreate itself. If you like this video, please subscribe. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you next time.